What's up geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video and today we're going to talk about the Democratic National Convention of 2018, better known as the Oscars. So last night we had the Oscars. The uh, the political pandering did not stop. The Me Too movement did not stop. The moral superiority did not stop. And uh, from Business Insider, the headline, Sunday's Oscars TV ratings are pacing to be the show's worst ever. Really? You mean social justice warriors don't watch TV shows that pander to them? It's almost like they don't watch movies that pander to them. It's almost like they don't buy comics that pander to them. It's almost like they don't care about the thing that they are outraged about. Hmm. Wonder who said that just a few days ago, and yet it continues to happen, and people continue to pander to them. It's hilarious. So let's get into this a little bit now. So uh, we saw all of, like, I made a prediction video last night where I basically, you know, laid out the things I thought would happen, and I was pretty much spot on for the most part. You can go back and watch that video. Um, I didn't watch the Oscars, but I kept up with it on Twitter, and there were some really funny tweets. And uh, yeah, it was just, it was as bad as we thought it would be. And clearly, people are not tuning in because they are tired of the political propaganda. And the more you try to, what's this word now? Virtue signaling? See, I'm not big on internet trendy words. Like, I guess this word has, has you know, become popular in the last few months. Maybe I'm longer. I don't know. Maybe I'm just old and out of touch. I don't know. But I don't like using trendy new words. But virtue signaling kind of does describe what they do, where they basically, they're trying to make you believe that they are better better than you and better than everyone else when in reality we all know that they are just as shitty as everyone else in some cases worse and so I think it's just proof that it's more proof and we continue to get proof like this but what will happen is they will eventually correct course but they won't admit the mistakes they'll blame it on someone else and it's almost like the NFL last year when the kneeling stuff was going on and Trump called out all of the kneelers and basically said that they should be fired for kneeling and protesting uh, on the field before the games. And then the entire league kind of had one weekend where they were all in unison, where they just united against the president and united for social justice and showed how much they cared. And then suddenly people just stopped kneeling after that. It's almost like when the ratings started dropping and it's almost like when the money was starting to kind of dwindle away just a little bit. It's almost like they didn't care as much as they claim they did. And that's exactly what's going to happen with Hollywood. Um, they will eventually correct course because, let me see right here, uh, on Business Insider. So from 2013 to 2014, they saw a ratings increase. And that was actually three or four straight years of ratings increases. And then from 2014 to 2015, it went from 43 million down to 37 million. Then from 2015 to 2016, down from 37, or went from 37 down to 34. And then from 34 to 32 in 2017. And now, you know, clearly uh, the Democratic National Convention will drop again this year and they will not acknowledge their mistakes. They will blame it on someone else. They will blame it on a group of people that uh, maybe like the alt-right or the sexist men that hate Star Wars so bad or the Easter Bunny or someone like that. But they will not take ownership in it. And it's just so funny to watch the facts actually play out and they will ignore the facts and they will continue to make excuses because that is what they do. So more evidence that if you pander to the social justice crowd, you will not have a sustainable business model. It's that simple. So hopefully you're laughing with me. Hopefully you're having a good time with this. It's great to see that the things that we continue to tell, like we continue to call it out and say it's gonna happen, then it happens, then they won't acknowledge it. So funny. And last thing before I leave, um, I know some of you have complained to me about how I keep saying in my videos, I don't care what you think, I don't care what you think. And I, 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 that's meant to direct at the people that continue to complain and, and take little pot shots at some of the things I say or do. Um, one thing that's been said a lot lately in our comments is, and this is where I get into this internet trendy word bullshit, like 
this word shill is going around. It's a word that is used for people like uh, Collider and uh, Jeremy Johns and Chris Stuckman or whatever. And I, I see that people are keep saying, like, Jeremy, you're mentioning Collider too much. Don't become a shill to Collider. Okay, I don't really know what shill means, and I'm not interested in using that in my daily vocabulary because it's a trendy word, and I don't like trendy words. Maybe I'm just too old for that. I don't know. But here's the bottom line. Okay, I have already made it very clear that I'm not a fan of Collider anymore. I used to be, but I'm not anymore. Um... It got to the point where, like, John Roca, every time the dude was open his mouth, like, five or ten seconds later, it was a race or a gender reason. He, he would tie everything to race or gender, and I was sick of it. But I am a massive fan of Christian Harloff. I love Christian. I met him at Star Wars Celebration last year, shook his hand, spent a few minutes with him. He's a great dude, and I will continue to stand by that. So because you little fuckers in my comments keep trying to claim that I might be some shill for Collider or whatever, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to share a link to a video from Collider in the description below of an interview Christian did with Dave Filoni. Does that make me a shill? Then call me a shill. I really don't care. I'm not interested in your little trendy internet words, okay? If you think I'm a shill, whatever that really means, then I'm a shill. It's fine. It's not going to affect anything I say or do. If you want to have a conversation about my opinion or my stance on something, I'm more than happy to have that with you. But if you're just going to label me trendy internet words, my, my give a fuck meter is gone. So continue to label me that. That's fine. I will continue to link to anything that you claim I'm a shill to to help your argument if that's what you want to do. It don't work on me. I'm sorry. You guys have a great day. Check out the Collider video that I'm going to be a shill for that I'm going to put in the link in the description below. And the social justice warriors continue to cry, continue to whine, and continue to watch everything that you claim you love fall apart because it continues to pander to you. Thank you guys.